to the left or right or straight ahead? Hello. Hey. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. Okay. You, you're muted, girl. Okay. Well, you let's know. Make, okay, there we go. okay. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> hey. What's up? Hey. What's up? Hey, everybody. Surprise. Yes, that's Looks right. Looks like they're coming on. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, we wanted to um, announce the event we have going on tomorrow. So I'm going to give Debbie and Jennifer a chance to talk about that. Um, it's a beautiful Mother's Day event. It's going to be mediumship and whatever energy comes forth in honor of mothers. Um, I'm going to give it to Debbie or Jennifer, whoever wants to talk about it first, and I'll come back around. So uh, let's share what we have planned for tomorrow. Go ahead, Miss Jennifer. I'll let you. No, go. you go ahead, Debbie. <laughs> oh, girl, you're so polite, girl. Okay. Well, you, well you, it was your idea. You talked about it first. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, you know, you and I and Kelly Brickle, we have created a beautiful bond together, and it's been a real honor and and a privilege to have connected with you, all of you. Well, not only you two, but the community as well, and how we've been showing up for each other, for spirit, and for community. It's been. Um, an adventure. We've had some amazing growth and um, opportunities to just hold space. And I want to first say thank you to both of you ladies. And Spirit's like, girl, let's do some, let's do a Mother's Day live. And we really were, we were, we were going back and forth, like in person, Father's Day in person. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. Let's go in person, you know? And then we're like, okay, we got things happening. We got real, real life situations. How we, can we give our time and still hold space from the, from the luxury of our home, right? So then we're like, yeah, Zoom, let's Zoom it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. My mommy is in spirit and, and I have the honor to feel her and, and to get a message in the way I receive from other mediums, it's really a gift. It really is a privilege to be able to feel the essence of her spirit. And it, it is um, truly beauty there when they're acknowledging something that I'm feeling into that I need a little nudge to realign me or a little nudge to say, hey, girl, I got you. And um, so what better way to come together in honor of Mother's Day on on May the 4th be with you, right? <laughs> so may the 4th be with you. So we're bringing in the force of our mommies from spirit, the force of spirit world and honoring us as women coming together as a collective to get some loving messages. And so tomorrow, that is what we're going to be doing. And for anyone who's um, looking to just come to a place in the comfort of your home, where you can sit, have your cup of coffee, your tea, or your snacks, like this would be in a beautiful opportunity just to come sit with us in the energy. So thank you both of you, Kelly Brickle and Jennifer, and everyone that has already signed up for the event. Couldn't be more happier. Thank you. Miss Jennifer. Yay. Um, well, so happy to see you. Hi, Gwendolyn's here. Keith and Nancy's here. Good to see you all. And she Cheyenne, great to see you all. Um, and yeah, I'm so happy to be able to do this collaboration with the two of you and in honor of motherhood. Um, Mother's Day is next weekend, but we wanted to do it this weekend because we know all you ladies are going to be out having your luncheons with your family. So we wanted to do it on a day when more of you would be able to come to, you know, to honor motherhood, to honor womanhood. Um, whether it be, you know, our moms in spirit, you know, stepmoms, mother-in-laws, mother, you know, firm moms, <laughs> like a mom, grandmothers who were like mothers to you, you know, they all matter so much. And without moms, you know, we wouldn't be here without their love and their nurturing. And then for all of the moms who are here, whether you are, you know, a mom, a mother-in-law, stepmom, a firm mom, you know, a uh, like a mom, all of it for you here too. So something just to kind of celebrate the, you know, the essence of woman and motherhood and nurturing and love in that special way. So I do feel so grateful that uh, Spirit and the three of us were able to create this uh, sacred container for that so we could do that. So we'll be, you know, connecting with our loved ones and, and, um, and giving messages, whatever spirit wants um, us to do, we will be be channels for spirit and coming together just for love and for fun. So we hope that you can join us and um, it's just for donation. So whatever you're able to um, give, we're so appreciative of that. And we just hope that you can all come in and enjoy the fun and enjoy the love because there's going to be lots of that. <laughs> there's going to be yeah. lots of that. <laughs> I agree. I agree. 
I, um, I'm really honored to be a sharing space with uh, Debbie and Jennifer. And, you know, we're uniting the feminine energy to bring in reverence for the feminine energy um, with what is coming in from a soul level. And whether, you know, your mom is still living or past, or there's a grandmother or an aunt or a friend that was like a mom, um, that's really what we want to honor, all the different soul connections. And so it's really um, a, a vibration that celebrates um, connection through family, friendship, and just what it is to be touched by the love of a woman. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a, it's, right. a, different, it's yeah. a different energy event. And I'm so happy um, that we get to all do this together and help support each other and help support spirit world in the best way we can so we really honor whatever comes forth um it's donation based like everyone's um mentioned it is at 11 a.m pacific standard time 7 p.m uk um depending mm -hmm. where you are in the world it is donation based so whether it's five cents or fifty dollars what whatever you want it's just we're happy to serve and give and we're, we're live here because we just want people to know Come on by if you want to connect to your loved one in spirit and, and be in this energy honoring um, mothers and, and women who have served and connected as such. So um, uh, Debbie and, and, and Jennifer, I'm going to boomerang it over to you. Um, if there's anything that you want to mention, we're just making sure that people know because we want to give yeah. and love. Right. I think it's important too, you know, um, having a mother in spirit, it's, it's very, there's a lot of hurt and a lot of grief that comes with that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of emotions that we one process when we lose a mother. Um, for myself, I'm speaking from experience, you know, there is a stage of grief that we go through prior to the illness, depending on how the passing occurred. And there is there is energy of holding space for one's soul. It can go very deep for many of us. And to be able to fill into that energy, the essence and the love again, it's a true gift. And, and to have professional medium yourselves holding the link for that energy to come in um, is very special. It's very sacred. And so for many of you, if any of you do have a loved one on the other side, this is an opportunity to come into a sacred space. Um, I know for myself, uh, the the moment my mother passed and, and I was starting to realize people were going to be giving me messages, um, the messages started before the passing. Um, there is a delicate process with that. And who is who are you going to come to to get that message? And there is an energy that comes forward when that person is holding space and you want it to be delivered with love, respect, and kindness for the spirit and the soul. So I know that both of you work from the kindness of your heart. And so if any of you are out there and you're looking for this opportunity to say, you know what, I will love a message from her. This is, this is the time that you can come because it is not recorded. It is not live. It is a, a container that, that comes together on Zoom in private. So if you feel that this is not your time, that's okay. Because a lot of times I wasn't ready. And when I got my first message, I didn't think that I was going to be affected in the emotions that came forward that was really still hurt. It was very raw. So we're in different stages of our, of our grief. And so it's okay to honor where you are in your grief at the moment. But also, um, if you feel the nudge, listen to that little nudge. Because that is spirit saying, baby girl, it's okay. Baby boy, it's okay. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I think of um, when, you know, I've done so many readings with so many moms and I love connecting with them because they come in with that nurturing energy and they always come in and here on my right side, you know, and um, I'm grateful that they choose me and they trust me, you know, you know, because I have a very sensitive energy. So I'm happy that they, they resonate with that. So they will choose me to give that message too. And um, it's, there's there's something special about that mother and connection and what was just floating through my awareness as you were speaking is even as adults you know he, there are certain moments of of 
uh, difficulty in life, you know, maybe you're giving birth to your own child, or maybe you've been injured, or you're sick, and what comes to your mind, I, I want my mommy, I need my mommy, you know, and you could be 30, 40, 50, 60, 78, you know, any age and be like, I want my mommy, I need my mind, because you need that like nurturing energy that only, only that can bring. And, and so I think even, even sometimes, when we're doing messages, we can still feel that we can feel the divine feminine. Maybe it shows up as Mother Mary or another figure that kind of comes in to, to um, hold space for us as well, because we all need that and we're all part of it. Um, mm -hmm. And if if anybody hasn't gotten to experience that the way that they wish they had, they can still find it in different ways too of bringing in the mother energy too. And we can right. we can be we can be mothers to other people just by being nurturing and loving and holding space. We can provide that energy for each other. Too. Right. So that's so that's true. What kind of like came to my mind. So I'm so happy that we got to just have this time to to chat together. Thanks for everybody for coming on for Jesse and yeah. Monica, Keith and yeah. um Amy's here too. So lots of love already. Look at that. Yeah. For, for, for even yeah. comments, just like Jess too. Um, a lot of times, yeah, we don't feel always our loved ones around and they're with us constantly. And life is kind of funny because sometimes we just don't have the moment or don't have the time or we're not ready um, to receive what is coming to us, but it's always there. And I know that like with the help of um, a healer or a medium, sometimes it's just so comforting and warm to know like they saw something that we did or they're around us. And that's what we're looking to validate. Sometimes, you know, we say mom's around, mom loves you. And it's one step further to know that mom was there getting my hair done. Mom saw that I was struggling this morning. Mom saw that right. I cried. And, you know, mom is, is, is there for me in all the little ways, even though I can't feel her. And it opens up that door to say, maybe I can feel her. Maybe mm -hmm. I don't feel her the way that I expect, but I do feel her and I do feel love. And, and that's what we're bridging. That's what we're opening the door to, to help bring the awareness of the spirit world. And there's going to be so much healing tomorrow. I can feel it. Yeah, with Desi too. and with, with Jennifer, they're powerhouses. They bring in so much love and like, let's remind some people what is present in this world and what is possible. Right. Because there's a lot yeah. of healing needed lately. There's yeah. a lot of healing needed. Yeah. Yeah. For, and for Jess to maybe trust that your mom is just waiting for the right person in the right time for you because mm -hmm. they, they, they choose who they want to give that message through whoever resonates with them or whoever has the, the library of symbols that they want to use to let you know that they're here. So mm -hmm. keep on trusting that that mom's going to show up at exactly the right time for you. Right. Oh, Gwendolyn, 27 years seems like yesterday. Yeah, it it does, you know, and, and I think um, it's a gentle reminder even to pause to remember the ones that have walked the path before us, the, our grandmothers, their mothers, and just honoring the women that have placed an impact in your life, you know, and, and in this way, um, if you're unable to make it, give yourself an opportunity to walk them to welcome them to come closer. Um, because they do fill you with that gentle thought. So thank you guys for just chiming in. We wanted to put the link out there for you guys to join in. And um, it's under Transcend with Debbie um, on Eventbrite. It is a donation base. And um, you'll have Kelly read for 30 minutes. I will read for 30 minutes. And Jennifer will read for 30 minutes. And um, we'll hold it for about 10 minutes after for questions, 10, 15 minutes, we'll say, for anyone to ask us any questions that, that may come to the surface for self of understanding of, you know, or, or any additional questions that may we can hold space for. So again, thank you for just listening in um, tomorrow again at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And so if we're going 12, one o'clock Central, two o'clock Eastern um, and 7 p.m. UK. And so it is an honor to be here with all of you. We're going to let you guys go because, you know, we got a lot to flow with in the rest of the night. It's Friday. We got to go do 
beans. That's what's up. And so I Ms. Say, Rose has to go back to work. <laughs> Miss Rose, go work. And I say, take care of you. Much love, y'all. Get your ticket. Bye, everybody. Um, much love. Hugs and kisses. Thank you for mm -hmm. showing up. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love and happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Bye. Next week. Bye. Next week, yes. Next week. In honor of. In honor of.